Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading today. We have a very awesome tarot reading. Let's get into it. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and anyone who resonates with the reading, because these are for the collective. So let's pull uh, one of 12 Zodiac cards and see what the message may be, or like the theme surrounding the message for today's reading, right? So let's see what we have for and I can't really see the cards. Closing my eyes for Sagittarius, please. Uh, for Sagittarius, please. And we have the card of Sagittarius. No, I didn't pull that on purpose. Of course not. Uh, this is about optimism. It is. And uh, of course, Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, which is the planet of expansion. Uh, enthusiasm, for sure, uh, because of that expansion element. Uh, and many other things, right? It is the ninth house of philosophy spiritual beliefs and higher wisdom and education that's what it's about and of course there are other things too that sagittarius uh kind of deals with right uh being too impulsive sometimes sometimes being a little naive overly optimistic right uh but this is about optimism it is and that is very cool uh and let's see what else we have here uh, and this is a, this can be, uh, definitely about you exploring something new because that's what Sagittarius is trying to do. Sagittarius is the centaur, uh, half man and half, you know, uh, half man, half horse. And so he has his, uh, bow and arrow here and he is trying to hit his target, uh, right. And that is what Sagittarius is about is to explore that, whatever that target may be, discover, uh, and it's about freedom for adventures, right? And it's a little bit related to the fool, a little bit, although the fool is ruled, um, is Aries, right? Uh, so this is either about an adventure, uh, and it can be about you exploring something new, and it can be about something that is of a deeper meaning. Sagittarius looks for something that is meaningful because of the philosophy that we, you know, we're totally into philosophy. That's why we make good teachers and things like that. Yeah, and so... Mm -hmm. meaningful this is why we cannot be uh after some time we cannot stay on jobs that are not meaningful no it'll you know we'll drive we'll go crazy that's kind of what that's about so let's see i feel like this is about an adventure or something that is deeper right that is uh very meaningful let's see what else we have and from the uh, law of attraction deck we have the man holding flowers look at that sagittarius and he is ringing the doorbell and the flowers are behind his back. Somebody wants to explore a relationship with you. Look at that. Very cool. And I feel like it definitely is. Let's see what else we have. And we have uh, the waterfall. And this is actually uh, temperance, I believe. Yes, it is. Yeah, this is temperance itself. And here she is. She's naked. I have to cover her, right? So she's at the waterfall. And, uh, she is, and she's just, you know, she's kind of, it's, uh, you know, temperance is about the water. It's about spiritual growth and healing. And that's what, uh, water is really, uh, mm -hmm. it's about flowing. It's about being in your flow. So whatever this is, whatever this is, it's about being in your flow. And that's very cool. Uh, anything very meaningful is always, uh, like related to, connected to being in your flow, isn't it? Yeah, it's when things are not meaningful that you're kind of not in your flow and pushing the river, right? Yeah, we can't swim against the current. No, we can't. Uh, it's too hard, right? <laughs> Let's see what we have. And uh, we have the fates. Yeah, fate and destiny is happening for you, Sagittarius. Uh, the fates, and she's holding the stars. Um, she's kind of posing here. And uh, this is a number 17 which is eight. And so eight in numerology is a power number. We're in a power year. I always say that. So do your best to, uh, to take advantage of this year. Yes. And, uh, mm -hmm. interesting about the eight, cause the eight can also represent the eighth house in astrology in the eighth house is ruled by Scorpio. It is about intimate relationships. It is, uh, yeah. Let's see what else we have. And we have Yang. Okay. Yang is the, the divine masculine. It's the number one. He's the magician here. This kind of face with a, uh, you know, you'd have to see it kind of, but, uh, it's like a kind of a ball, but, uh, definitely this is very cool. And here are the two hands and this is about manifesting. This is manifesting 
something uh, definitely, um, you know, given given from the divine, and this is uh, its destiny, Sagittarius. Yeah, it is. And very cool, right? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, let's get one more card, and we'll use one of these cards today. And just for the fun of it, let's see what we have for Sagittarius. And we have healing, and that was, are these reversed? Oh, these are reversed. This is why. We have Maria Sabina, and here she is. And uh, Maria Sabina was uh, like a native. Uh, I feel like she was both Mexican and native. Yeah, I was reading about her. Uh, and she was a beautiful person, and uh, she was a healer. And I think she made potions and, you know, things from herbs to help people. And, uh, and here are the wolves here. Very interesting here. The wolves always talk about a great calling and, uh, you know, the hummingbirds are here and the healing hands at the top, uh, Maria Sabina. And she kind of, I think she had a little bit of a hard life, but, uh, interesting people were stealing from her, like taking her, I think it was toward the end of her life. People were taking her kind of her, you know, her, her potions or her healing, uh, modalities and, you know, things that are her healing, uh, yeah, uh, they were. Let's see what we have. Today we'll use uh, this card. We call uh, this deck. We call it the pirate deck. Uh, I don't think there's any pirates in here, but hey, uh, that's what I like to do it like that. Kind of piratey though. Kind of it is. So let's see what we have. And uh, this is the spellcaster's deck. And Sagittarius, if you would like your own psychic reading, you may always get one of those. I'm a silver grad. They're accurate. They're lots of fun. They're very empowering. Uh, right with this awareness that you receive and maybe about you for your own uh, you know things in your life or uh, it could be very serious you know or very important things it could be about somebody else right anybody somebody in your family a lover a spouse uh, it's all confidential right uh, even a boss yeah it could be um, let's see what we have here and uh, we have uh, the eight of swords and that is showing up as reversed yeah and i don't have many so that is correct not many reversals in this uh, but we take it when it comes out like that queen of wands page of pentacles and the knight of wands so this deck here uh it's a great art i believe it is uh, a little bit hard to see maybe um on the other end on your end possibly but uh let's see and we have the seven of pentacles all right so Sagittarius, you're in the challenging or the influential, the impacting energy. We can sit, call this the crossing energy, uh, if you will. Uh, and it's kind of the card that is pivotal here uh, in, in the reading. In other words, uh, it, this can, this, sometimes this is conditional. Like, well, if I do this, then, you know, uh, this is how it's going to affect me. Or, well, if that happens, or well, 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 right? It's, it's like conditional, this uh, position, right? Everything else is... Uh, kind of more everything's condi or interpretive, right? But this is very conditional where it sits. And you're sitting there, uh, unless we have another fire sign here, uh, Aries, Leo, or Sag. The King of Pentacles is showing up, the Six of Swords, and she's on some type of a, it's kind of a spiritual journey here, if you will, but she's actually making a physical journey with it. So she's holding up this box and she, her eyes are closed. And she's sitting here and the six of swords is, you know, always some type of, um, some type of kind of a journey. Uh, it's a transition. So it's leaving something in order to, is a bit of a sacrifice because recognizing that it is necessary. Excuse me, to leave something behind. So here's the old man and he's, uh, rowing the boat for her, or, you know, he's got his big oar over here, uh, which looks very much like a wand. Uh, the sun is over his head here. And, you know, this is, uh, this can be, uh, maybe there's a Leo here, but, uh, the sun here on the six of swords is clarity. I know where I want to go and I know what I need to leave behind with this deck here, this card. So, you know, she's very, she's very much setting an intention or meditating here on this box, like, right. Uh, and that has everything to do with her wish or her spiritual growth or, you know, really where she is headed. And the three of pentacles is here, the four of swords, and we have the strength card. 
Uh, the strength card in this deck is like one of the most beautiful, and we see this uh, naked woman, which we will, uh, you know, we must cover, right? Yeah, and so uh, let's just get a small one here, and we'll just kind of cover her like that. Should be fine. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, yeah, and so here we have, maybe we do have a Leo here with the strength card. Uh, the number eight, which is a power number, as I always say. Uh, and when we talk about power, we talk about change and growth, right? Progress, uh, for sure, because, you know, um, that's what power is made out of, right? It's made from, basically. But here we have the page sitting in the root. And we have this man knocking on the door, Sagittarius, with the flowers behind his back. So there's a message here. There is, right? You have a message coming in. Uh, maybe this person, or you are bringing a message. Maybe that's you at the door. Maybe you're, you don't have to be a man, but maybe you are bringing flowers to somebody. You could be the recipient or the kind of, you know, the benefactor or, you know, the person bringing, uh, kind of the provider here. Uh, eight of swords is here reversed. And the eight of swords is about somebody who kind of has repressed themselves. Uh, and maybe they didn't know they were doing it because, you know, uh, that's not uh, wildly uncommon. So this person could have really kind of made themselves stuck. Uh, and, you know, their eyes are all kind of bandaged up here and their arms are tied. The bull is behind him. Very interesting because the bull can be about fertility or power, right? Because not just a cow, it's a bull, uh, the horns. Uh, this is kind of like, let me release myself and take uh, kind of like take life by the horns, right? Take my life by the horns, sort of. And so eight of swords reversed. He's releasing himself. And, you know, the release here is to step into your power, to step into your authentic authenticity, but it is definitely to, and the yang card is here. And that is power. That is divine power, uh, divine, the divine masculine, right? This is uh, you know, the yang is, it's number one, like the magician uh, in order to manifest, right? Uh, yeah. And it's about taking action. It is. And so the crossing energy is a queen of wands. We'll get a card on that. And we have with it, the moon, the moon is a mystery here. So, uh, it is right. So there's a few things uh, for sure it is, but, uh, it does talk about a mystery because these dogs are all up in arms and they're howling. One looks like a wolf and one is this little doc dachshund a uh, little hot dog dog right mm -hmm. and uh, there's this box in the middle here and uh, these dogs have no clue what this box is about right they're just kind of emotionally kind of uh, disturbed here these dogs and they're howling to the moon this is about a mystery and somebody's emotions are up and down so here it is with the queen of wands and you're in this challenge here and so there's a mystery about you because somebody's coming to talk to you or you are feeling this mystery when you are trying to talk to somebody else, trying to contact, contacting this person. I don't like to say trying, uh, but there is an attempt in this reading to speak with this person that you feel is fated for you. And maybe uh, you are healing on your own or there's a healing between you both, possibly. Uh, but this is very beautiful with temperance. Uh, in the waterfall, the lady and the fates and the yang. And, you know, when she's naked in the waterfall, this is, I am whole. And, uh, yeah, this is somebody who is feeling very whole and, uh, definitely present and in the moment, not worried about the outside world, uh, the past, the future, things like that. Just very much, uh, in her bliss. Yeah, definitely. And the page of pentacles in the root. Wow. And, you know, this is about somebody who wants to speak to you or, you know, you want to speak to them. And, uh, because there's so much value, you value here. So something's given here, something is given, uh, but there's a lot of emotional, uh, turmoil inside about a message or this communication, right? And so in the past is the Knight of wands and he's definitely taking action. He looks like his horse is a hawk. He's up in the air. And, uh, yeah, he is. And the nine of cups is the wish. And here we see the genie who has brought, uh, the nine cups, right? And he's getting ready to leave here. He's just kind of brought this. He's in front of the full moon and maybe this is happening around the full moon. It could be, uh, wow. And so, yeah. And so the knight of wands showing up here and then the seven of pentacles 
is here and that is the mindset and here's the woman and she's watering her her plant which is this which is really a tree uh in this planter and uh the seven of pentacles are around it and definitely she's investing the mindset here is to invest in this the mindset is to water uh water someone's love or to give to this to go with the flow but to definitely um water this and uh yeah very interesting uh it definitely is and so here is the dog and the dog is next to her and this is about loyalty uh and patience because the dog is just uh definitely like i'm i'm by your side um definitely by your side he's sleeping but that's okay and uh yeah the mindset here is to give to this that's what this is about king of pentacles is reversed that could be somebody who is uh kind of in fear in this reading i feel like there is fear here uh, especially with the moon and the queen of wands Sagittarius in the challenge yeah and you are their wish and that's what this is all about uh, the, the six of swords is the woman who is uh, setting an intention or she's meditating on this box and she's on a journey here and the old man is uh, the old man who's in really good shape here with his muscles and you know uh, his long white beard and you know he has a tan it's because they don't wear a lot of clothes right of course right and uh yeah and so he's helping her uh he's taking her where she wants to go he has this full clarity the sun is over his head uh this is done with strength and courage right because the sun it's a done with leadership like i know where i'm going i'm leading myself uh, but she's setting an intention i hope that when i get to the other side here this other side of the river that i can you know i can like manifest my wish or you know or be in a better place definitely and we have with it judgment reversed so you know the, this is in the concern and there's somebody boiling in this pot here from judgment and there's somebody who is standing up and receiving forgiveness or like rebirth and things like that so we're gonna have to cover this naked person unfortunately but uh yeah it's kind of hard to see that too but uh it's a beautiful card and it's almost like there's like hell in this pot right uh we're we're not into hell over here no we're not <laughs> and we're not here to talk about it but this judgment is is kind of about that right it's like it's about suffering and then somebody rises up like from the ashes basically and i feel like this person that is standing up here uh it's a woman and her hands are basically you know up in the air yeah, and she's receiving like uh, kind of um, the divine medicine, if you will, right? There's a dropper here with this divine hand. And, uh, and here she is down here crying basically with her hands over her head and she's boiling in the pot, right? But she stands up and so this is rebirth. And somebody here, that is the, uh, that is the wish here or the concern is to have rebirth once somebody is done with their journey here or once they have transitioned out of something yeah this is really beautiful it really is and so three of pentacles it's deep too three of pentacles is in the environment and this is uh you know this is usually a collaboration and he's presenting this pentacle to her some type of right and here are the three on the ground it's hard to see what he has but he's like kind of teaching them and they are like a part of it right it's kind of a i mean we could call it a ritual if you want but um you know and so they're here and uh he's holding this up this is about fertility because we see the squirrels eating an apple and looks like it over here is uh, these apple trees right it's about fertility and it's about uh collaboration and that's what somebody wants to and the pentacles are values remember that the money here is you know uh represents value and you know there's many other ways to kind of put it but this is in the collaborate this is in the environment somebody wants to collaborate with you they do the four of swords is showing up and uh this four of swords uh is he's taking a break here and he's doing his own ritual his hands are crossed over his face and he's practicing something he has a candle in his shoe and it's, he's he's not in the church uh like praying right uh or meditating i mean you know that's kind of what that represents uh, it does represent healing because of the praying and the meditating aspect, but he's lying here and these four swords are around him and there are four wolves. So they're protecting him and the wolves represent uh, protection, but they also represent a great calling. And so he's here basically kind of, you know, praying for his great calling uh, to come to pass 
or his great adventure. Yeah, we can call it that too. And the strength card sits in the outcome, Sagittarius. The outcome is here and we see uh, the lion and uh, a very beautiful lion and uh, this beautiful woman here who is on her on this lion much like a horse and you know he's he's totally with it he is uh and she's got this kind of wand in her hand and she's pointing it up to the sun <coughs> the tadpole is here the tadpole is being kind of reborn into a frog right <coughs> we always used to search for tadpoles when we were kids uh which was always really interesting uh the snake is here which is about rebirth as well uh, right a new life and there is a fire these these animals are like swimming there's a couple snakes here and they are swimming toward this fire that is in the middle of this lake here so it's very beautiful and interesting and this is about infinity this is about self-mastery and courage uh, and moving toward what you want because here she is moving on this lion yeah there's uh, a lot of beauty in this reading there's a lot of growth in this reading uh, and there's a lot of understanding uh, of where somebody has been, um, maybe self-judgment with this Eight of Swords, but there's some type of judgment in this reading that somebody has gone through. It could be self-judgment, but if they may be a, a little bit afraid here, that Sagittarius, that you will judge them, that could be going on in this reading. Uh, but this is about, I know Sagittarius is my destiny, and let me let me follow that. Let me, let me be on that path. And... Uh, yeah, and hopefully this will be definitely blessed by the divine. We're going to end this reading. Get your psychic reading, Sagittarius. Uh, this is really beautiful. Get your own. Get your own personal reading, right? Because, uh, you know, these are general and, you know, they, they're they not, they're not going to be for everybody. Uh, just like the horoscopes, right? That's why your natal, your own personal natal chart is so very personal based on the moment you were born. Um, if you don't know that, you can still get your chart. Uh, there's still plenty, uh, a plethora of information about you and to help guide you toward your true potential. That is what your chart is about. I feel like so many people don't really understand their chart and what it really is. I've had so many people uh, kind of make uh, comments and uh, no, and I didn't know before either, uh, but I, I do know now, right? And uh, you can get your progress chart, shows your evolution uh, going on for this year. It shows you things you're unaware of. In conjunctions are things you're unaware of. Opposing oppositions uh, can help you and you may not feel like you are dealing with that, but there's something that could be going on and you going, well, I'm kind of, I, I don't know what to do about this or something doesn't feel right. That can be an opposition in your chart and it can definitely be a square, uh, which is tension building. The square is more obvious, but your chart always helps you uh, move forward and uh, actually reach your true potential, which is the North Node, which is fate, right? The lunar nodes of fate. Yeah, we're going to end this reading. Everything's in the description box. Thank you so much for joining me, you guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the little bell in order to receive all my notifications.